to everybody out there, man. Hope y'all having a blessed and wonderful day, man. My prayers go out to all the families out there, G. But we got to talk about it, man. Tua, man. The Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills. You dig what I'm saying? It was a crazy game, man. I didn't get the chance to uh, opportunity to watch the whole uh, the whole game scene clips here and there. But I know everybody seen the news, man. Tua with another concussion, man. He did real good last year, keeping himself safe. You know what I mean? He had a lot of concussions in previous years that he played the game, man. But uh, I think it's a serious tone to this uh, concussion that he uh, got in this game. Let's go over some of the stats real quick before I dive deep into this uh, conversation, man. Uh, the Bills won 31-10, you know what I mean? The whole conversation going into this game was, can Tua beat elite quarterbacks such as Josh Allen? Uh, you know what I mean? Pat Mahomes, people like that, Joe Barrow. I mean, Lamar Jackson, can he beat the elite? Can he beat good teams? You know what I mean? And uh, he wasn't able to prove that uh, prove that uh, yesterday, you know what I mean? But the more serious tone of everything is that concussion, man. But we, we definitely going to dive into it. Let's get to some of these stats, man. Uh, Josh Allen was uh, 13 of 19, 139 yards, one touchdown. Tua was 17 or 25 for 145 yards, one touchdown, three interceptions. You know what I mean? But uh, overall, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I think about Tua, man, I feel like uh, he got to definitely think about his family, definitely get evaluate, evaluated by multiple uh, medical professionals to make for absolutely sure that he should be cleared to play again. You know what I mean? Not people trying to rush him on the field for accolades like the Super Bowl and getting into the playoffs. Really want to make for sure he's 100% when he's stuck back on the field because he's married, he got a family and kids. And you want to make for sure that the players are 100% okay. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think it's a serious tone too, especially for somebody to, to consistently get these uh, concussions and things of that nature. We had multiple defensive players that had that and then uh, with the CTE and things of that nature. And I always say it's, it's definitely a serious tone to the, the matter, you know what I mean? And I wouldn't play around with it, you know what I mean? If other injuries and things of that nature, you know what I mean? It's not as, to me, it's as serious as messing with the brain, you know what I mean? The functions and things of that nature. I really think this right here, you need to get multiple evaluations and make for absolutely sure that you are 100% okay. You know what I mean? You don't want to just be going out there, play the game, and really hurt yourself in future situations. But the thing is that people dream their whole life to be able to play in the NFL, to go to the Super Bowl, to be an MVP, to have all the accolades that come with the game. You know what I mean? And I understand like having that drive and actually being an opportunity to be able to prove all the dollars wrong, to get the big contracts, to have the weapons that the Miami Dolphins have, to be able to beat the elite quarterbacks, and get yourself into the playoffs and be able to win the Super Bowl is the goal at hand, but also the goal at hand is to lead the game, you know what I mean, with your mental all put together, you know what I mean, and to be able to still be able to be a father to your kids and be a great husband and not just be out there with your mind gone, you know what I mean, all the issues that come with guys that have those CTE situations, you know what I mean, that's no longer with us now, you dig what I'm saying? So, I always say, man, definitely get multiple people to evaluate the situation and always take precaution with this, you know what I mean? I just feel like you definitely got to learn how to slide and not put yourself in those predicaments, you know what I mean? Because when I looked at the clip, it just didn't look good. It really didn't look good to me, man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now, like I say, for me as a person, what I would say, you know what I'm saying, is uh, I will always understand a person that want to follow their dreams. You know what I mean? As a person of myself that always, you know what I mean, fight for to get to your goals, you get what I'm saying? So it's hard for me to say, don't follow your dreams or don't follow your goals. You know what I mean? I always say, just get all the medical, you know what I mean, things checked out by multiple people. You got the money, you got, you in a uh, position to be able to get all the right people around you to be able to get this evaluation the right way. You get what I'm saying? So. I don't want to ever take nobody dream away or nothing like that, but definitely want to take a serious tone when it comes to something like this, because the the aftermath, the, the after the, the game is over and you retired, you don't want to be a shell of yourself and don't know what day it is and having all these these mental issues that come with that. You know what I'm saying? You want to be sharp and on point and be able to do things after the game is over. 
and that as well as spending time with your kids and your family and stuff like that and you don't want to be not here because you took too many hits to the head no different from different boxers that got hit in the head multiple times i just think it's football is a dangerous sport man not everybody can play it and not everybody can have longevity within the nfl you know what i mean it's a really physical game and the injuries that come from it lingers with a lot of people shoulder injuries ankle injuries different injuries that people have you know, different from ulc all these injuries and surgeries these individuals have to have they still fit on aches and pains man they may not come on them cameras and tell you that they do you know what i mean now you're talking about the mind and the brain and the concussion and protocols and things of that nature to have them multiple multiple times it's like really got to evaluate it really got to sit back and make for sure you everything is clear man you dig what I'm saying? But like I said before, I get the, the urge to be great. You know what I mean? Because we all drive to be great, to be amazing, and the things that we love to do. But at the same time, we got to take a serious tone with these things. And sometimes your dreams might be put on hold for a while, just getting the right proper evaluation to make for sure that you will be able to perform at a high level and still be able to lead a game healthy and good shape and, and having a great mind. You dig what I'm saying? So my prayers go out to Tua, man, his family. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm wishing him that he continues to get healthy, man. And I pray that this is not a serious matter and he can continue to fight for his dream, continue to fight for his goals. And that's my piece on it, man. Everybody that liked the video, don't forget to share, hit the like button on my people on TikTok and Instagram. Don't forget to follow the page. My people on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, man. I'm out.